This uh, talk, we're going to discuss a, a few, influ uh, flu few overlapping traits between individual contributor senior engineers and great engineering managers. These traits that we're going to discuss are debugging, empathy, particularly of the technical kind, and judgment. So let's start with debugging. I love debugging. Debugging is like one of my favorite uh, things to do. And I think that, you know, as I was growing up in my career, I think, you know, most of us have to learn how to debug. If you're going to write code or build systems, you're going to hit problems. There's so many different things that can go wrong. And as you get better and better at writing code and writing systems, you get better and better at finding bugs. Um, but for me, I was curious about more than just the bugs in the technology, although I was curious about that. I was curious in all kinds of problems. Why are we doing things this way? Why are we using this process instead of that one? Why are we building this? Uh, asking why too much is a pretty common path for getting into management, voluntarily or not. Uh, you know, ultimately, I believe that it's kind of an indication of systems thinking. I don't love the term systems thinking. I find it slightly pretentious. But really, when you're starting to ask questions about why we're doing things and why do things work this way, you're showing an interest in the interactions of many different complex elements. And that's what debugging is. Whether you're debugging systems or teams, you are thinking about many different complex elements interacting. When I was writing the book and uh, first sort of thinking about writing it, I asked a lot of people for ideas. What should I write about, right? And one thing that everyone said was, you have to write something about, you know, the team is too slow. The CEO comes to you and taps you on the shoulder and says, why aren't we getting enough done? Why, why are things going slowly? And this is one of the hardest problems as a manager that you will ever debug. And it's hard because there are so many different causes that could be happening. The team could be unmotivated. They could be not gelling yet, right? They could have interpersonal problems on the team. It could be that you have a process problem. Product is throwing work over the fence and the engineering team hates it, right? You can have technical problems that are causing the teams to be slow as well. Old code, legacy code, code that really can't be extended quickly. So you have to figure out which of these things is impacting the ability for your team to ship. And often it's all of these things to differing degrees. Okay, moving on to empathy. Empathy, you know, I think empathy is really important for senior engineers to, to possess. You need to think about who's going to be reading your code, who's going to be using your systems. You need to be able to put yourself in their shoes to do a really good job of creating software. Um, and of course, empathy is important in managers. You want managers to have certain emotional intelligence, that ability to, you know, treat people like humans. Um, but what I'm talking about here is really technical empathy. So, uh, like it or not, engineers really want their managers to be credible. We want managers that we think maybe could do our jobs, maybe we just think we can learn something from them, they're domain experts. And this is actually not just engineers, this is everyone. There was a big study that showed that employee satisfaction is heavily tied to believing that their boss is highly competent. And I'm no different. I get to work for this guy. This is Alfred Spector. He is the CTO at Two Sigma. And I'm really excited to work for him because he was a professor of computer science at Carnegie Mellon. He ran a company called Transarc for a while. And he ran Google Research before coming to Two Sigma. So he is an awesome computer scientist and a really great manager. And this is great for me. I get to learn a lot from him. But, you know, we don't expect our managers to do a lot of pair programming with us, right, necessarily. I hope not. That's not really a great uh, use of most managers' time. Maybe occasionally, but not all the time. Um, so we're looking for something else, I think, in our managers. And I think a lot of what actually people are looking for when they are looking for technical managers, they're looking for appreciation. Someone who appreciates the work they're doing. Someone who appreciates the details of why what they're doing is difficult. Who can really put themselves into the shoes of the team and has some kind of an expert's appreciation for the work at hand. It's much more powerful to be able to tell people, wow, the way you fix that bug, that was really clever. I really appreciate that you saw that you know, we were incorrectly handling those database locks. Whatever it is. That means a lot to people because you can be very specific. It's much more valuable than you know, some random stranger on the street saying, hey, nice job on that bug. Uh, you also, of course, need to know what the team's going to be excited about. There are lots of different trends that are always happening in tech. And knowing what those trends are and kind of understanding why they're trends right now. Why is React the thing that everyone's really excited about on the front end? You know, why are people 
you know, interested in this concept of serverless computing. You may poo-poo them and say, eh, been there, done that, we did that 20 years ago. But understanding why people are getting into that right now and what makes them excited about it right now, what problems it's solving with modern computing, is important for being able to understand the motivations of your team. You also need to understand their frustrations, right? Uh, understanding what makes developers hate coming into work, whether it's uh, you know, excessive process, tons of uh, outages and alerts, whatever it is. These aspects of technical empathy are important for motivating and running good teams.